Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So last week we did a video on the FA18C Hornet and it was looking at the climb mode on the F-Pass page. I'm just going to press it now just to quickly remind you. Ping. And what that does is give me the ideal or the optimum climb speed here in CAS that we should maintain to get to our cruise altitude. Our cruise altitude in this case being about 37 k asl and what you guys asked originally was okay that's the speed that we should try to attain in our climb but how do we actually do that how where do we put our throttle position max power half power three quarters power what pitch do we go do we go five degrees pitch ten degrees pitch straight up and so we tried answering that last time and the methodology that we did is that we kept our pitch constant so five degrees ten degrees 15 degrees whatever we kept that constant and we adjusted our throttle position so that our speed would match this here you guys have come back to that and given us a good bollocking and rightly so where have you gone rc just oh, never mind and what you said is no that's wrong cap don't do that what you should do is you should set your throttle at a certain position so whether that's max power whether that's military power whether that's something less than military power and you adjust your pitch it's the pitch that should be the variable not the throttle so we're going to do it again we're going to have the same parameters as last time we're going to climb from that's going to be our starting point there that big smoke at which point we're going to achieve 1000 feet asl and 300 cast knots we're then going to climb or get up to this speed here, our F-Pass climb indicator here. And we're going to do three tests, one with maximum power, one with military power, and one with sub-military power. And we're going to measure the amount of fuel that is burned in each of those three cases to get up to altitude. That's going to tell us which of those is most fuel efficient to get up to our cruise altitude. As well as that, we're going to check our range. For that climb, how much range have we covered from our smoke, which I've just realized isn't marked, so I need to put a mark on here. Okay, for the mark where the smoke is, the distance that we cover at that climb profile to where we meet our cruise altitude, because that will come into the factoring in terms of what gives us our overall most efficient climb, depending how we measure efficiency. Efficiency can always be measured in different ways. Whatever you know type of physics you're looking at, you can be measured efficiency in different ways. Who's doing what? Do you want to do max burn and I'll do mill power? Okay. So max burn will be max burn. Mill power, we've decided, is 99% RPM here. Now, I'm aware that the fan ratio to fan to power ratio will change as we get higher. But what I'm going to do is once I'm at 99% down at sea level here, more or less, then that is going to be my mill power. I'm going to not touch my throttle uh, controller after that. So everything's static. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I need to deaccelerate and climb. Right, I'm hitting the smoke. As soon as I do that, I'm going to ramp her up to 99%. The question now is, do I stay flat and level to get up to the F-Pass climb speed? Or, it probably seems most efficient to go to 99% throttle here and stay straight and level until we achieve our 515. There we go. Just check we're not burning. Wait a not. minute. Okay, RC, okay, you do your max power. Once you hit the, the, the thing, you just go max power, RC. Now... If you want to stay level until you get to the 515, that's up to you. Or if you, if you want to try and climb up to the 515, that's up to you. To be honest, I don't think it will make a massive amount of difference. It's such a short amount of time. I'll just be happy just to be able to get up to 515, to be honest. So at mill power, I'm not going to be able to go very steep. Right, I'm at the F-Pass indicator now. My fan RPM is going down, but that is something to do with the altitude. And it's not something I'm going to touch. So just to confirm, I'm not touching. Whoops, I've got to get used to this. I need to go up now. I'm not going to touch my throttle since I've gone past that smoke. So to slow down, I need to go nose up, don't I? Right, up. on speed. This is harder than it looks, RC. Everything seems backwards. Yeah. It takes a little while. Well, if, you, if you're finding efficiency problems, accuracy problems, just just restart. It doesn't matter if we have to do it a few times. Uh, no, I'm good. This keeps dropping the speed, so I'm Yaja. having to pitch up more. I'm staying within about five knots. It's possible to do it perfectly. Um, the climb today is 37k, it says. I'll see. Fan speed seems to be back up to 99. No idea why. You clever guys, you clever valued viewers, you keep correcting us. You'll have to tell us what the fan... Why the fan speed changes. I've never really understood it. For the same throttle position. Perhaps 13k. Will mill power... Mill, mill, sorry. Will mill power even allow me to get to Angels 37? I'm not even sure. If not, we'll have to top out before that and um, change the test 
I'm at 37. How long have you been there for? Just got there. I think that's accurate enough. I am going to measure you. I'm just going to go slightly shy because I had a, about a second delay there, didn't we? So you got 11.67 nautical miles. And could you tell me what uh, amount of fuel you've got left? 95.80. You burnt 1,090 pounds of fuel and covered 11.67 miles. And let me just confirm. Yep, you're slightly above now, which is fine because um, yep. I uh, yeah I adjusted for that. Right, I'll see. Um, I need you when I unpause to respawn and go and try a smaller uh, um, um, what I'd call a kind of max efficiency attempt at about 95% RPM. I think it's very unlikely you'll be able to get up here with that fog because. It feels like I'm Probably struggling not. on. It feels like I'm struggling on mill power. If I'm honest with you, shows how much power is in there with those afterburners. Ninety-nine percent fan still. So the pitch is having to go down as I generate less power. Right. And possibly less lift, presumably. Yeah. Yeah, as the air gets thinner, you're gonna have less mm -hmm. lift under. I'm really struggling to maintain F pass now. I've only got 10k to go. Down to 4 degrees now. Will I ever make it to 37,000? Back up to 6 degrees. Come on, little Hornet. I believe in you. How are you doing, RC? Good. I'm uh, about 7,900 feet, about 5 degrees. Keeping my so I'm still in the same throttle position, but my fans are now down to 94%. I don't know what, why... Why it does that? I'm at Angels 34. I've got three Angels to go. I'll see, and then I'm done. Wow, Mac, 0.89. That's awesome. Angels 36. And uh, wait for it. 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 Jeez, that was a struggle. Okay, I'm pausing now. I'll see just to do my data. Okay, I burnt. Well, I burnt more fuel than you. 93.40. Let me work that out. So I burned 1,420 pounds. Interestingly, I covered 50. I'm probably going to start rounding these up. Probably 52 nautical. Okay, viewers, this could take a long time. So you, so you're yep. doing. You started on 95 percent, yeah. Yep, I'm at 95. Right. And what kind of? Uh, and you're. In, are you on speed? Yep. Okay. At least you managed to get on speed. That's a start. Oh yeah. What kind of pitch are you maintaining, roughly? Right now it's about four degrees. Yeah, that's pretty stupid. Yeah, I was getting about six or seven mil power. What kind of pitch were you doing on full burn? Oh, I was <laughs> holding up. Forty degrees. Yeah, we should point out obviously that this these aircraft we're using are unloaded. Obviously, the test will change. The speed will change as we load up the aircraft with weight. But the idea of the, res the results is going to stay pretty much the same. The, you know, the final. Um, final findings, if you like. Yeah, the F pass will adjust for weight. Well, yeah, it does. It does adjust for weight. Not a huge amount, I found, but you know, ten knots, maybe twenty knots. It's like a ninety-five percent four degrees is uh, keeps you on speed pretty well. Roger. What you'll see is you start getting higher now. Your fan RPM will start getting lower. Yeah. Okay, you've got angels. You've got ten angels to go. I'll see. How's you're still at five degrees pitch, so. Um. Uh, Three and a half now. Roger. I think your engine is probably starting to struggle now. Yeah. Angle of attack up to 2.4. Right. Yep. And I'm uh, about two degrees flying. Yep. So if your angle of attack reaches your pitch, your pitch amount, then basically you're just yeah. going flat and level. Right. Or something like that. I can't. The good thing about this is uh, it's taking it right to the extreme, isn't it? Which yeah, is, um, this is about. It. Yeah. Well, you're still going up. That's the main thing, and you still you still have the ability to climb, RC. Yeah, just barely. Right. What I'd say is just um, it will update the results a bit, but just just nudge an extra bit of throttle in. I know it's cheating, but just get to Angel 37. Do what you got to do, and it will give us a you know it's not scientific, but it will give us a, a, a decent enough idea. Just went back up to five or ninety five. Okay, we had to cheat at the last um, 4,000 feet, but we're about to make it. And you used 2,230. Distance covered was, wow, 101 nautical miles. 101 that was a long way. nautical miles. So, this is FA-18C, F-Pass. Climb 
efficiency test 1037,000 feet ASL in ISA conditions. Here is the throttle amount and it's measured by percentage of fan at 1000 feet ASL at 300 CAS. So this one was 100, so that's max power afterburner gate, whatever you want to call it. This is roughly equated to mill power. It's the most fan percentage at those conditions that we can get without afterburner, so we'll call that mill power. This is what we call absolute minimum throttle, and it was a little bit wrong. It turns out it's not enough throttle to get quite to the 37,000, so we had to cheat for the last few thousand, but it's near enough for today what we're doing. Here's the amount of fuel in pounds that we used. It was the distance that we covered from the starting conditions up to 37,000. Feet. Here are our efficiencies. There's two ways of measuring efficiency. One is pounds per 1,000 feet climbed. So if we want to use as little fuel as possible to get to our climb altitude, bearing in mind that not throttle but climb pitch or climb angle is our variable, then gate is the most efficient. It only uses, I have no idea why that is. I need a super clever person to understand. You know why would full throttle be most efficient it just cannot i cannot figure it out uh, anyway but it's 30.28 pounds per 1000 feet of climb next most efficient is mill power or thereabouts and that was um about 40 or 39.44 pounds per 1000 feet of climb if you go below that the lower you go then the less efficient we become for reasons so our low power here our minimum power uh, took us 62 pounds per 1000 feet of climb but if we're looking at efficiency in terms of lateral rule travel, so if we really want to go a long way, then afterburner is not the most efficient way of doing it because although we climb quicker to altitude, uh, we travel less distance. So in that case, afterburner is much worse. It's 90, 91 pounds per nautical mile traveled. So that means if we were starting at A, taking off at A and getting to B, climbing F pass climb at afterburner full power would be the least efficient way of full lateral base to base travel mill power 99 would give us 27.31 a huge improvement why is that such a big improvement it's i'd like to say that these here are inversely proportional to the climb efficiency but they don't seem to be do they unless anyone can work out some proportionality there but it doesn't seem to be it's just massively more efficient on mill power and what i'd say just being realistic mill power is probably the way to go or near mill power again it depends on your weapons load if you're loaded down with bombs you pretty much have to go full burn as you all know if you've driven the hornet if you're light or just a few air to air missiles then this will probably work so those are things to take in account to a minimum for all we got the most efficient of all 20 to a small increase in, in efficiency by I don't know, 20%, 15%. Uh, interestingly, this shows uh, pretty much exactly the same, I believe, as what we found in the other test, where we had the climb angle as a static and the throttle as a variable. I hope that's put that to bed. I'm, I'm aware a lot of you have sent me messages, uh, a lot of you rule pilots and interest in this, that it is, of course, much more complicated this than this. This is a very oversimplistic model of this. But again, with the Grim Reapers, we're not, you know, we're not aviators. We just like to keep things simple. So, but I always appreciate your messages anyway. You know, keep them coming. Um, anything you want to add to that, RC? Nope. We'll see you later.